In Photoshop, you can fill a layer with a pattern. Now, just going to quickly show you how to do that. Layer, new fill layer, pattern, click OK. Now, you can see the pattern there. I'm just going to select another one just to make it a bit clearer. Select that one. Now, these patterns are from graphicextras.com, but you could use any other pattern or design you can find on the web. They're PAT files, so also you can, of course, create your own. Now, I'm just going to scale that. Five, say. But the one thing with these patterns, and slightly different from a normal pattern, is that there's actually a transparency involved. So actually you can see like, behind the pattern. So now, once you've done that, you can click OK. And if you then say, oh, I want to colour those patterns. Now, of course, you could colour individually those patterns by obviously flattening the, lay the layer and, and then basically using selections and whatever and just fill in the, the designs. Now, Another way you might want to do the whole lot, say red. Well, you can do that. But if you go to layer and just go layer style and you go color overlay, well, actually the whole layer's filled, which is not very much, <laughs> not much use. So you, you can't actually see the flower designs anymore, which is, so you, to get around that, you have to go to the layer, rasterize, and then layer now when you do that you can go to layer style drop shadow you actually see the shadow now as well as color and actually can quickly change that so red click ok so now you've got an actual color to the pattern now i'll just quickly go through that again so just go back just get that gradient back in again and layer New fill layer, pattern, click OK, and I can select another one of these patterns, just select one of those, so you can just see the design there, and you just go click OK, now layer, rasterize, layer, and then go to layer, layer style, and you can apply satin, and all those sort of things, you could also do a bevel, so just give it a quick bevel, so, a drop shadow, Maybe add some colour to it, add a gradient to it as well. So just get rid of those. So you've got a gradient. So just go to there. Maybe select a gradient there. You can do a quick gradient. Click OK. So you've got a flower design and it's now coloured.